Morning everybody, Rock here. Just making a brief video about how to uh, engage into uh, safe conversations. When you want to talk to somebody, you want to make sure that you are heard and also that the other person uh, is heard and that you're listening. A uh, few tips would be to, uh, you know, I got these tips as I was watching a video from Dr. Harville Hendricks and I did post a blog about this a while back but I thought of making a bit of a video. Um, so basically when you want to connect to the person um, that you're talking to, you have to really walk into their shoes, put yourself in their shoes. So we are all, we're all the producers of our own lives, producers of our own movie, and we have to be willing to turn off that movie uh, so that we can listen to somebody else's movie or somebody else talk about their movie. Uh, when you're actively engaged, you really want to, um, it's important how you look at them and how you listen. You must open your heart, you must open your mind, you must totally focus on what they're talking about. If you find yourself, uh, your mind, sh you know, sh 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 veering off or, or, or other thoughts are, are polluting your mind as you're, you're talking to somebody, you're not really engaged and you're not really focused. And most people can sense that. So instead of having um, the glare, you know, when you when you're kind of deer in the headlight kind of kind of look. That's when you are. That's when you're not listening to somebody. But when you have the gaze, when you're actually gazing into somebody's eyes, you can feel the connection. That's when people are actually actually going to feel like you're going to pay attention and that you're listening. And in addition to that, subconsciously, a, a person will know when you're not engaged, and they will, in general, go into autopilot and not put any emotions behind what they're saying. They might just dial it back. They, they might, we might not even be aware that we're doing that on a conscious level, but subconsciously we can certainly read body language, right? Um, so have you ever had a connection or a conversation with somebody that, oh, like a heart, heartfelt, meaningful conversation that uh, really resonated with you? The, um, the odds are that the other person was feeling the exact same thing. That's why when you have an angry conversation with somebody, in general, that other person might be angry or they'll have a level of discomfort. They may not experience anger like you, but they may experience sadness instead. So you're really um, trying to match your body's or their body's uh, biochemistry. So stuff like when you talk and when you're having a meaningful conversation, when you're really connecting with somebody, you're going to experience um, an increase in serotonin and endorphins the feel good stuff you know the kind of pump the, the pump you get after you work out or you go for a nice run or you, you 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 do something really good the opposite to that is when you are having a uh, meaningless conversation something that's not really uh, engaged and having you connect with somebody your body's pumping out cortisol and we all know what cortisol does it really wears you out burns you out from the inside out uh, increases aging actually it, it uh, fosters rapid aging and also increases um, disease right so it, it weakens your immune system so you basically um, when you are talking bad about somebody or when you're being negative your body produces uh, the cortisol so recognize that when you're being mean towards somebody you're actually kind of screwing yourself up so my little message today would be to, when you're engaging in a conversation with somebody, number one, focus. Focus on what they're saying without judgment. Just let that go. Let them speak and don't listen so that you can reply. We all do that. We listen to conversations so that we can reply. Listen to the conversation so that you can understand. Once you've understood, you don't have to think about what you have to say. That just comes naturally. It's like you're being channeled. You just, you're, you have clarity and you've listened, you understood. And now you say, oh, okay, I get it. So focus on the conversation, the person. Focus on lack, you know, not judging them. And also focus on um, engaging in a loving and compassionate way. Because when you do that, again, you want to feel good when you're talking to somebody so that they can feel good, so that you can leave the conversation rejuvenated. Anyways, I wish that for you guys today. I hope that you have a lot of joy today. I'm always thinking about you guys. I love you guys and have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.